It's a good time to be a Spider-Man fan. A new movie, a recent PC port of one of the greatest PS4 games of all time, another movie confirmed to be on the way, and now this beauty. Just revealed at the recent PlayStation Showcase, this game, oh my god, this game is pure magic. Just from the first 10 minutes we've seen of this game, it's already become one of the most hyped games of 2023. And for good reason. It takes everything that made the previous two games amazing and just piles on and on. Like seriously. Symbiote Spider-Man, Wingsuit, Web Slingshot, and look at that water. The water, oh my god. Now I could tell y'all about how fantastic this game looks all day long, but I'm looking to answer a very important question today. How is this game going to end? If you've seen the footage, it begins by showing Kraven the Hunter. It'll be important later, but for now, just keep him in the back of your mind. But then it shows Peter jumping out of a basement, and he already has the black suit. And seeing this, you would be led to believe that Peter had just obtained the Venom symbiote, and this is his first time really using it. This is the first time Miles sees Peter with it on, and Miles, as we know, is Peter's spider partner in this series. So for this to be the first time he's seeing it, it can only mean that Peter hasn't had it on for very long, right? Well, I have reason to believe Peter's had the symbiote for much longer than we're being led to believe. How do I know this? Well, if you pay close attention to the way Peter behaves during this teaser compared to the first two games, you can see a very clear and obvious difference. He's just a lot more aggressive, harsh, like he's not holding back anymore. He throws the people he saves on the ground and doesn't even stop to see if they're okay. And he basically just completely disregards Miles and even treats him like a burden at times when Miles is just trying to help him. So yeah, he's definitely different, a lot more jerky, but what does that have to do with the Venom suit? Well, usually when the Venom symbiote gets put on Peter, there's a delay of maybe a couple days to a week before Peter actually starts feeling the effects of the symbiote, i.e. a shift in attitude. So that right there shows us that since Peter is already getting influenced by the suit, that must mean that Peter by this point in the game has already had the symbiote for at least a few days to a week. So this begs the question, how? I mean, from what we've seen in the previous games, Peter and Miles work largely together, so how could Peter have possibly hid the suit from Miles for this long? Well, that's a question I don't have the answer to right now, but I can go ahead and answer one question you may be having right off the bat. How does Peter get the symbiote? In the previous game, we see Venom in a green chamber with Harry, presumably keeping him alive. I think at some point early in the game, Harry is let out of this chamber, and it's initially attached to Harry, for somehow making its way onto Peter. But back to the question I asked earlier, how is this game going to end, I actually have a few theories for this that I want to talk about. Theory number one, the final boss is actually Peter corrupted by Venom. I actually think it's very likely that we'll end up fighting Peter as the final boss. But anyway, in this theoretical boss fight, Miles ends up taking on the Venom symbiote himself. I don't exactly know how he would do this, but if he does do it, he could very easily defeat Venom by using his electricity. Another way that's a bit unlikely but could very well happen is if Insomniac decides to go the Eddie Brock route, where Peter just eventually expels the Venom symbiote from his body and it somehow ends up on Eddie. I don't really think this has a high chance of happening because it's probably too late for them to introduce another new character, but it could very well happen because the original Sam Raimi trilogy got away with introducing Eddie Brock in the third part, but I digress. Now, the third and final way this game could end is the most dramatic, and I'm sure most people don't want this to happen, and I agree, but after looking at the implications it could have on the story, I kind of think it may be one of the best ways they could go. What if Insomniac just decides to kill off Peter entirely, leaving Miles as the sole survivor? Now, I know how crazy it sounds, but just bear with me. If Peter were to die or just be out of the picture in some way, we could explore avenues in the story that we aren't normally able to. For instance, Miles and Harry. We've never seen them work together or even meet as far as I'm concerned, so this could be a good opportunity. Also, something that may not even matter in this universe, but I still wanted to point it out, is the Spider-Verse movie. Spoiler alert if you somehow haven't seen this. In this movie, Peter actually dies. So, we've already been shown that Miles can hold his own if he just so happened to be the last one left. And also, for basically the entirety of the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, aside from a few cutscenes, Peter's gone on a business trip in Simcario with MJ, leaving Miles as New York's only Spider-Man for the duration of that game. So that could have been Insomniac getting us used to Miles being the only one. I don't know for sure, but if this is the case, it would totally make sense. They sure did do a good job of making Miles play better than Peter. I mean, most people I've heard talk about the Miles Morales game say they enjoy playing as Miles more than Peter. 
And having played both games, I have to agree. His swinging animations, his electricity attacks, his suits even, it just feels way better to play as Miles. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's boring to play as Peter, but I'm just saying playing as Miles is definitely a step up from playing as Peter in basically every way. Of course, make sure to leave a comment if you disagree with that, but anyway, my theory for why Miles is so much more fun to play as is because they're preparing us for when Miles is the only one we can play as. Now, I may be looking way too much into it, but I think it's really something that could happen. I mean, when you really think about it, there are a lot more characters from Miles' side of the story that are important. Genki replaces Ned. His uncle Aaron is the Prowler and he's still alive unlike Spider-Verse, and Miles' mom has basically taken the role that Aunt May had in the first Spider-Man game. There really isn't much keeping Peter in this story other than Harry. Now I'm not saying that means he has to die or that it's confirmed in any way, but I really don't think this was done on accident. And there's also something else I believe we should think about. At some point in every Spider-Man story, there's what I and many others like to call an Uncle Ben moment, where Spider-Man is powerless to save someone really close to him and it basically shapes him as a character. Now you may argue that Miles may have already had this moment with the Tinker's death in the previous game, and you could be right, but really think about it. Peter is Miles' partner, his best friend, his mentor, the person who showed him how to be Spider-Man when he was alone and confused with no one to turn to. For Miles to lose Peter, and more importantly for Miles to have to be the one to take him out, I think that would be a much more impactful Uncle Ben moment. To watch Peter get consumed by Venom and have no choice but to fight and potentially kill the only person who truly understands him. Now do I think this has a very high chance of happening? Not really. But Insomniac does like doing twist endings that people don't expect, so I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up being the case. Now I want to talk about another way this game could end. This way, I think, is the most likely. I really think that we're gonna see Miles take on the Venom symbiote. I don't think we've ever seen this before in any comic, movie, or anything. So for Miles to take on the Venom symbiote, first off, he'd probably look awesome, but also, it would be something completely unique that we've never seen before. And another reason that this will most likely happen is because of Venom's weakness. Now, I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that extremely high voltages produce a ton of heat. And that's pretty much Miles' thing, so that would be a great way to take Venom down. Also, something I haven't mentioned is Harry. In the gameplay, Peter says this. Can't lose Connors. Harry's dying, and he's the only one who can help. Now, I think that saving Harry will play a pretty big role in this game's story. And I also think that either Harry will live, or we'll likely see flashbacks of him. Insomniac's already recast Harry for the new game, so we at least know he'll make an appearance. My guess is that he'll live so we can have a moment where Miles and Harry meet. Maybe Miles and Harry will even team up to stop Venom. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you agree with any of these theories. And while you're down there, might as well subscribe and hit the bell so you know when more videos come out. I actually really love the Spider-Man series, so expect to see more videos about him in the future. Alright guys, that's all from me. Make sure to let me know what you want me to cover next. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much for watching.